Hello, my name is Andrew Moore, and I'm a medical oncologist here at Southeast Cancer Center in Cape Girardeau. Today, we're going to be going through many questions that we feel many of you all have with regards to breast cancer and possibly that you've been researching on the internet. How breast cancer is diagnosed. So hopefully, breast cancer is diagnosed by mammography. So in patients with early stage disease, stage zero, stage one, many times this is picked up on a 3D mammogram. Otherwise, this can be picked up on monthly self-breast exams or clinician breast exams. Uh, otherwise, if this is advanced stage, such as stage four disease, many times it's diagnosed by symptoms. How is breast cancer affects the body? Very differently depending on the stage and the type of breast cancer. Most women with early stage disease have no symptoms at all. And so that is the reason that it is so important that you get your annual mammograms as well as do your monthly self breast exams. How is breast cancer treated? That is a grab bag. Um, really that depends on the type or flavor of breast cancer. And there are many different types of breast cancers and it's all dependent upon your own body's DNA that is driving the, the type or the genotype of breast cancer. So whether it is caused by different hormone receptors on the cell surface of the cancer or by a genetic cause or hereditary cause, that really drives how we treat a breast cancer. As well, the stage of the breast cancer depends on what treatments are available. But in general, it is some type of surgery, possibly radiation, possibly chemotherapy, and in many in instances, some type of endocrine treatment. Does breast cancer make you tired? Again, it depends on the type of breast cancer as well as the stage of breast cancer. Many breast cancer treatments can make you tired. So for example, some breast cancers that are strongly driven by the female hormones, estrogen and progesterone, one way that we attack or fight those cancers is by trying to starve those cancers from estrogen. Estrogen's a feel good hormone. And so many of the treatments for these types of breast cancers can make you tired. Does breast cancer itch? Certain types of breast cancer, especially if the cancer starts to invade the skin or the dermis or the nipple, this can cause itchiness. Anytime you develop any new onset itchiness or a skin lesion to the breast, that should be uh, brought to the attention of your primary uh, care provider immediately. Does breast cancer skip a generation? Not necessarily. And so a lot is known and talked about certain hereditary types of breast cancers um, with, with hereditary or genetic mutations or predispositions called BRCA mutations. Um, those are not very common, but in those situations, the breast cancer or ovarian cancers tend to be in each generation. There's also something called a familial predisposition. So even if we don't know the genetic predisposition, having a first degree relative with a diagnosis of breast cancer automatically increases your risk. Can breast cancer be cured? Absolutely. The most important thing in answering this question is what stage is it? And so the most important thing uh, for prognosis is in regards to stage. So the lower the stage, the easier it is to cure. And so that in and of itself is the most important reason that all women should get uh, their screening mammograms on an annual basis. Can breast cancer spread? Absolutely. And so, most breast cancers start out as an early stage or stage one breast cancer limited to the breast. Then the typical mode of transmission or how it spreads through the body is through the lymphatic system. And so most typically that is to the lymph nodes under the arm. And then from there, it can spread throughout. And breast cancer most commonly spreads to the liver, lungs, and bones. 
Now, once it has spread beyond the lymph nodes under the arm, it is no longer curable. It is still very treatable, and many of our treatments today have extended that treatment duration by years, but still, the most uh, reliable way to cure this is to find it early. Can breast cancer cause a positive pregnancy test? It is unlikely, but yes, certain breast cancers as well as certain breast cancer treatments that work by manipulating estrogen or progesterone levels, which are natural female uh, hormones, can cause a false positive test. If it is felt that you have breast cancer and have a positive pregnancy test, most definitely you want to talk to your provider about this so that you can get a serum test called a quantitative beta HCG that can indeed confirm if you're an indeed pregnant. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and so we hope that you've been able to glean some information from this question and answer time. It's also a great reminder for all of you women to get your screening mammograms.